Okay, let us see what is there in this question. Object P moves vertically with simple harmonic motion. It's moving like this. Object Q moves in a vertical circle with a uniform speed. So Q is moving with uniform speed or uniform angular speed. P and Q have the same time period capital T. When P is at the top of its position, top of its motion, Q is at the bottom of its motion. Okay, the diagrams are given there. And um, so this particle is moving in SHM motion here. This is moving in uniform circular motion. What is the interval between the successive times when the acceleration of P is equal and opposite to that of the acceleration of Q? Okay, so first of all, let us concentrate at Q because circular motion is easy, isn't it? Like when this body is moving in this fashion, where is the direction? What is the direction of the acceleration for Q? It would be undergoing um, the centripetal acceleration and centripetal acceleration at this position when t is equal to 0 is let us say it will be in the upward direction because center is up, upwards. Now this position like the particle P is at the top position of its motion. So obviously this is the extreme position and the acceleration will be directed downwards. And the magnitude of this will be same. We can just assume it because they both are at the extreme positions and the time period is given to be same. So omega is same, the amplitude is same, hence the acceleration is same. Now, so at t is equal to zero, our condition is fulfilled that the accelerations are equal and they are opposite in direction, isn't it? So the first position becomes t is equal to zero. Now, when this same thing will, uh, will occur again, Obviously, when the Q will be at the top position and P will come out to be at the bottom most position. So for P, the acceleration will be in the upward direction and for Q, the acceleration will be in the downward direction. Again, our conditions will be fulfilled that the acceleration is equal and opposite. So this condition is fulfilled at this. And when will, ha when will this happen? Obviously, after the half of the wavelength. So it will happen after t by 2. So now this position is coming after t by 2. So for the two successive conditions, like two successive positions, when this condition is being valid, this condition is being fulfilled, the duration between these two situations is t by 2. So our answer comes out to be equal to b. That is t by 2. Let us verify it from the mark scheme. And yes, the mark scheme says that the answer is B and the answer is T by 2. So my dear students, this is how we do this question. If you have any further doubts in this question, you can ask them in the comment section. Please share the video with all your friends. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Definitely. All the best.